Hans Pearl from the Institute of Marine Sciences heads up a program called the Ferrymon Project. The Ferrymon Project works like this. Ferries that ply the waters of the Pamlico Sound carrying passengers and goods are equipped with high-tech water quality monitoring sensors. These sensors allow UNC researchers to track the health of our coastal waterways year-round, including during major weather events, like a hurricane. We're at the ferry launch at uh, near Cherry Point, the ferry that crosses the Noose River estuary. This is one of our three ferries that's equipped with the uh, in-stream monitoring capabilities, which is inside the ferry. And this particular ferry crosses the Noose estuary about uh, 30 times a day. Each time the ferry crosses, it collects the standard water quality data that the state needs and that we also need for research. For example, it measures temperature, salinity, oxygen, uh, conductivity, turbidity, which is the clarity of the water, and then it measures the amount of algae in the water by measuring chlorophyll uh, all through sensors that are placed inside the boat. So we actually get to see the Noose River breathing and in action, so to speak, uh, in real time. Uh, you know, everybody's off the water during the hurricane, but the ferries, they really don't leave their posts here up until about 12 hours before a hurricane hits. So we're collecting data up to 12 hours before the hurricane strikes, and then they're usually the first thing back on the water because of the needs for transportation. The Ferrymont program started right after the three hurricanes that we had in 1999, Floyd, Dennis, and Irene, uh, in part because the state wanted to know what was going on with these huge events that were causing floodwaters to go all the way into the Pamlico Sound and beyond. And in the case of Floyd, people couldn't come down from Raleigh from Diener to, to sample because the coastal plain was flooded. So the ferries were out here, though, doing their thing, and the equipment worked flawlessly, and, and uh, we've been collecting data since then. The big advantage, of course, of using ferries is that they're free. They're already out here uh, taking passengers and cars across the Noose and Pamlico Sound. We're basically using the ferries as ships of opportunity to collect water quality data, and DOT is providing essentially the, the, the know-how and ingenuity for having, uh, transporting this equipment around. So it's a very attractive program from that perspective. Hans Pearl, also from the UNC Institute of Marine Sciences, heads up a program called the Ferrymon Project.